A fundraiser, a fundraiser is being held in Tel Aviv tonight to raise money for the child refugees from Syria. The event is being sponsored by the Israeli Committee for Humanitarian Aid to the Syrian People. Philosophy professor Dr. Yossi Yona is one of the organizers and told IBA's Arye O'Sullivan that because of Syrian sensitivities, the aid will not be labeled as coming from Israel. It is not as if we're going to solve the problem. It is not as if we're going to bring the refugees back to uh, the homeland. But I think it is to express uh, basic uh, human concern, saying, uh, well, the Syrians, the, the Syrian people, uh, it is not uh, expressing any solidarity or any empathy or sympathy to the regime itself. If anything, it might be that the regime itself is uh, partly or commercially responsible for the plight of these people. So we're concentrating on uh, the, 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 the very uh, no express, expression of sympathy or empathy and solidarity with the plight of the people. We live in the Middle East. They are our neighbors. We should be concerned about them. How would this aid that you want to collect now be brought to the Syrian refugees? Most of the aid being gathered are delivered to uh, a, a, an international organization called Save the Children. Mm -hmm. And they are in charge of how to deliver it uh, further on uh, to the uh, refugees or refugee camps uh, scattered uh, all over uh, the area. So the moment that we gather the money, of course, within this organization, it is sort of termed the uh, earmark, this is Israeli money. But as far as the way how it goes down, how it trickles, how, how it trickles down to the refugees themselves, uh, well, um, it, it is not necessary that it would have this label, this is Israeli money, because, of course, as you uh, uh, must be uh, aware, uh, there is sensitivity. And I don't think the sensitivity uh, has to do with how the people themselves re would receive it as much as how political uh, uh, forces, um, uh, uh, factors would might, would might want to interfere with that. So we, so, so we uh, exercise a bit of sensitivity and, uh, in this field, of course. But on the other hand, this is an opportunity to show these people who are neighbors who are suffering that Israel is helping them, no? Uh, it, is, it is an opportunity to, uh, 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 to be humane. Up until now, we really haven't seen much in Israel when it comes to the Syrian refugees you know, caring for them. Why is that? Because we are bucked down by our own problems, and we've got many of them. And uh, some people might say we don't have the luxury of uh, raising our eyes and looking uh, ahead and saying, well, look, it might be the case that there are some people in the world suffering more than we do. And uh, it doesn't mean, you know, when I'm expressing solidarity with the, uh, certain people that uh, I uh, give up or it would be at the expense of solidarity, of deep concern with my own uh, poor people. As far as I'm concerned, of course, I'm there. This is what I do uh, most of the days of the year. But I think that, as I said, I'm not only Israeli. I'm an Israeli patriot. I love my people. I'm first and foremost concerned uh, about my people. But I'm also a, a human being. And I, I should and I am concerned about the plight of people no matter where they are. The fundraiser is being...